Hey guys, good to be with you. Just want to continue today from where we left off on Friday, talking about uh, holding on to our faith. You can't hold on to something you don't have. We've said that a number of times. But if you're holding on to your faith, there's one thing that is true, and that the evidence of your faith that you declare should be seen in your life. Aren't you tired of seeing people who shout and claim great faith and yet their lives would suggest completely something different. I'm often wondering why, why this actually happens. Why is it that two people can declare that they believe the same things and they have the same apparent experience and the same apparent head knowledge, not negating the fact that they might be different personalities with different backgrounds, but why is it that two people who declare they believe the same thing can live two totally different lives? You get the one guy who's who's living his life by faith and he loves God, he's trusting God, he's doing everything that God wants for him to do. And for goodness sake, you can see it in his life. And you get the other guy who says the same thing, but he's miserable, he's grumpy, he kicks the dog and he's miserable to his wife. You know, wh why is it that these two people can say the same thing and yet one can be kind, caring, concerned and live out his faith appropriately, and the other doesn't. Well, one of the things that might be the truth right here is the issue of conviction. You see, there's three levels of conviction, and I've said this before, but I really want to spend a little more time talking about it. The first level of conviction is the one we deal with today, and that is the conviction of a public nature. I have public convictions. I will say things in public in the hopes that people will believe that which I have just said, that they will believe that I believe that stuff. Even though I don't live it out, even though I don't really believe it, I will state it publicly for my gain, for my reputation, for my good, for my career, but actually, at the end of the day, I don't really believe it at all. And you can see it in my behavior. These are public convictions. They're very powerful. We have a lot of powerful people out there who make public convictions and make public belief statements. Eh, but in meanwhile, they're sitting behind their back. They've got their fingers crossed. And they're not really believing what they're saying. The level of their conviction is simply for public gain and for their own for their own benefit. It's a public conviction. If you want to look in the Bible, Matthew chapter 2 has, has the story of King Herod. And Herod had a public conviction when he heard that the wise men had arrived there. And he said to these guys, he said, guys, man, it's so cool that there's another king out there. I want you to go and search for this king. And when you find this king, please come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him as well. He had his fingers crossed. He wasn't going to do anything like that. He was threatened by another king, and he was at a plan to wipe out that other king should he find him. But the nature of his statement was simply that of a public conviction. Now, this is a tough thing for us to say and for us to deal with. But when we speak in public about Jesus, can people see it in our lives? When we talk about Christ, we talk about our faith, we talk about it, and we, we and I sometimes think, well, what, what do you hope to gain out of this thing? It's kind of like going to an interview for a job. Have you noticed that? When you interview somebody for a job, they, they butter wouldn't melt in their mouths, and they will tell you exactly what they think you want to hear, and you think that you're employing the angel Gabriel when you employ the guy. But then at the end of the day, when the guy's been there for a couple of months and no, he can't be fired, he becomes who he really is. And the level of his belief was the level of a public, a public conviction. It meant nothing. So we've got to ask ourselves the question, how good is our belief? How good is our conviction? Can people look at us and see that our conviction is more than just public statements? Because what you say in public will one day be tested in private, and I hope we pass the test. Guys, think about it. It's a tough one. We'll talk about the other level of conviction tomorrow. But you're going to have yourself a great day. But think about this stuff. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.